Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Superchargers and thanks for stopping by. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun with the oil catch can that we have designed and manufactured and now we've sold thousands of them. So some of you understand how a catch can works and some of you don't. And so this is just a little demonstration as to uh, how and what it does and why ours is designed the way it's designed. So, uh, you know, you've seen other videos that we've made about oil catch cans. Essentially what they do is they catch any contaminants that are coming out of your uh, crankcase ventilation in your engine, right? So you have an engine down, down at the bottom of the engine is your oil pan and then in there is your rotating assembly which is your pistons and rods and as the oil expands there is sort of like uh, you need to be able to deplete some of this and that comes in, comes in through your PVC system which is your positive ventilation crankcase system so uh, what we do is we interrupt that line which would normally go uh, back into your engine so let's uh, you know for purposes of demonstration. This is your PVC system on Pentastars. This is uh, in the back of the engine and uh, this would go right to the intake manifold. Okay, and what that does is it burns off any of that contaminant going into the uh, intake manifold, which uh, it basically mucks up your intake manifold, your valve train system, and also lowers the uh, amount of octane because it has a misted oil in there. So uh, you're wondering what this is in front of me. Basically, this is the interrupt. So what we're doing here is this is your crankcase system. We're going to interrupt it uh, for purposes of, of the test. I have the cam, it's empty in here, right? So I'm gonna put this back together and there's some design elements here that maybe, you know, uh, when comparing them to others, you could see that this is a very tight, um, uh, thread here and there's a seal here and we have multiple seals throughout it because it's designed for boost as well you know we we go out of our way to try to make it you know some people complain and say that it's very tight to put on or very you know hard to screw in and stuff but you know there's a reason to that madness because uh, it's designed to work in both boosted and naturally aspirated cars so this uh, you know this time that it takes to tighten it up is actually by design Another thing that's sort of like, you know, unique to us is that we have, you know, a dipstick, which uh, allows you to check, you know, if it's full or not without having to take it all apart and make a mess. So if you're going quick, you could just check it, you know, real quick. So you're looking at these clear hoses. This is not what comes with the kit. These are reinforced hoses, but that's because we're going to do a little test. You could see in here, there's some fluid. Now this would basically this fluid doesn't matter, it's oil, and we just picked blue so that you could see it for the video. But there's already some in there, but for the purposes of the test, I'll show you that we're putting some more in here. And, and there's no way that you would have this much oil, like in, you know, your, your, your line. This is an over-exaggeration for, for this demonstration. Now, to my right here, I have compressed air, right? So you could see it's compressed air. So this is over 100 psi of air here so that's way more pressure than you would have in your crankcase system as well if you have this much pressure you've got problems and that's maybe time for another video so i'm essentially going to put it right in here and the catch can is going to catch it and clean air see this will move will come out the other end so you can see here right the oil is traveling into the can right you can see the air is coming out right there's no stuff you could see that there's no oil on this, right? Because it would be here. That means the catch can is filtering it, coagulating it, and catching it in the basin here. And what's coming through is clean air. Okay, so that's not gonna go and muck up. So right now there's probably a few ounces of oil in there. Uh, and I'm happy that it, it came all out of the tube here. So the only place it could be is in here. So now what we'll do is we'll just unscrew it, right? So you could tell it's nice and tight, which is the way it should be. And we can show on camera that we caught this, if all goes well. Okay, you could see that it's aerated. So I don't know, I'm sure you could see that. And then what we could do is we could pour it out and there it is. So what have we proven here is, is, is essentially a few things here. I don't wanna make too much of a mess, but uh, a few things here is that uh, our design for this engine and for engines in, in, in particular comes from years of using products that are on the market that uh, don't necessarily work as advertised. Some of them will have, let's say, some uh, media inside to catch it, which doesn't really work because you could still mist it out. You know, we're using a sintered um, brass filter, which slows everything down, helps coagulate it. Um, 
and uh, essentially uh, is a, this uh, plate in here with these holes in it, which also helps slow down and coagulate it even more. And that way you get a clean filtration system. So uh, even the placement of the hoses is very important to us as well. So uh, when you're buying a rip catch can system, you're not just buying you know, the, the, can, the catch can itself, you're getting a system. These are Gates American made hoses that are uh, reinforced, nylon reinforced. So if you're using it in boosted applications, they're not going to vacuum shut when they get hot and uh, you know, expand and blow and create a boost leak. Uh, essentially, uh, also, in, in addition, you're getting, you know, billet aluminum uh, brackets that mount for various cars. So if you have a Wrangler, you get one bracket. If you have a car, you know, like an LX car, you get another and so on and so forth. So they're specific to the vehicle as well. You're not just getting like a universal system, you know, stainless steel uh, clamps, which we like. In some cases, we have like those OEM connectors, depending on the vehicle. Uh, and lastly, you know, obviously the instructions and stuff and a warranty, which is all very important. Oh, uh, one last thing. I didn't want to take too much time here. If you have a boosted car, this is our RIP PCV valve. And essentially, it's a one-way valve, which would stop boost from leaking from your system. So uh, I think it was a short test. I think it demonstrates what we wanted to demonstrate. I think if you have any questions, you should just put it like, you know, in the comments, we'll be happy, you know, to address them. Uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, you know, or just give us a call because pick up the phone. Thanks, guys.